Why do cats always land on their feet? It's called the writing reflex, and it's one of nature's most impressive physics tricks. But here's what's truly bizarre. Cats survive falls from higher up better than lower falls. A cat falling from the seventh floor has better survival odds than one falling from the second floor. That makes zero sense. How is falling further safer? Let's start with how cats even flip in the first place. The moment a cat starts falling, its inner ear detects it's upside down. This triggers an automatic reflex. The cat doesn't even think about it. First, the cat rotates its head and front legs toward the ground. Then, it arches its back and pulls its hind legs in. This creates angular momentum, letting the back half rotate independently. Finally, all four legs extend downward, ready to absorb impact. The entire flip takes less than half a second. Cats can do this from as low as 12 inches off the ground. But here's where it gets weird. This reflex is why lower falls are more dangerous. In the 1980s, vets in New York noticed a strange pattern. Cats falling from two to six storeys had the worst injuries, but cats falling from seven storeys or higher, they often survived with less damage. One cat fell 32 storeys, 320 feet, and walked away with just a chipped tooth. How is this possible? The answer is terminal velocity. When anything falls, it accelerates until air resistance equals gravity. That's terminal velocity, the maximum speed something can fall. For cats, terminal velocity is about 60 miles per hour. It takes about five storeys of falling to reach that speed. So between two and six storeys, the cat is still accelerating. It's going faster and faster, body tense, legs locked, ready to hit. This rigid position is terrible for absorbing impact. But above seven storeys, something incredible happens. The cat reaches terminal velocity and stops accelerating. And here's the magic. The cat relaxes. Its body goes from a tense missile to a flying squirrel. It spreads its legs out like a parachute, increasing air resistance. This actually slows the cat down even more. And because the body is relaxed, it can absorb the impact better. It's like falling drunk versus falling sober. Drunk people survive falls better because they're relaxed. Cats at terminal velocity essentially go limp and survive. So the danger zone is that middle range, two to six stories. High enough to build speed, but not high enough to relax. 